up guys? It is around 7.55 a.m. on December 27th. I'm here in Agra Cant Station, leaving Agra with Rafa. Uh, hey. What's up? And we got here before 6 because our train was supposed to leave at 6.25, headed for Jaipur, uh, but it was delayed. And the times have been changing. It's been saying like 7.15, 7.55, 8.30, 8.45, 8 all, all kinds of times. So it's we're here at the station hoping that the train will come here soon so we can at least board it. And then we begin the journey to Jaipur, which will be six hours in a sleeper train, similar to the one to Agra. So that'll be fun, six it's hours of that. It's cold. And it's very cold, yes. You, couldn't, you can't imagine how cold it was when we got to the station. We took a tuk-tuk from our hostel. It was like 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or like 4 degrees Celsius. Super cold. So we're just trying to stay warm. We got some snacks for the road in case there's nothing good in the train. And it's going to be a long ride. So but yeah, let's go to Jaipur. Some chat tacks. Looks like some Indian Cheetos. Masala flavor. Yep. Pretty good, right? around 9.20 and it left around 10.20 so almost a four hour delay. Just arrived in Jaipur. Woo! Jaipur. So, warm weather. It's a little bit warmer. Yeah. Sunnier for sure. It's sunny. All right so we just got settled into our hostel and obviously because of the delays uh, got to Jaipur a lot later than we expected. So today we're just gonna, we're not gonna do any sightseeing, it's sort of gonna get dark pretty soon. So we're just gonna get some food. We haven't had a proper meal all day, so we're starving. And then we're gonna go out with the hostel. They're doing an organized club crawl, so we're gonna go out with them and meet some people from the hostel, and tomorrow we'll start our sightseeing. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> And welcome to day two in Jaipur. The first thing we're gonna do is head out to the Pink City and explore around there. So let's head over there right now. Let's go. Finally made it, and we hired uh, rickshaws to take us around the whole day. And luckily, I have two friends from our hostels that uh, speak Hindi, and they're actually studying here. You'll meet them in a second, and they were able to haggle decent prices. So, finally made it, and there's a lot of people. So, check it out. So we've been walking around here in the Pink City and uh, we came up to this cafe across from the Hawa Mahal, famous, it's the back of the Hawa Mahal, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, 
actually you did see it already. And we're here with our two friends from Afghanistan in our hostel. This is Habibi Nazir. Hello. How's hello, how are you? Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? And they were able to negotiate some better rates for the rickshaws because they speak Hindi. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Glad, glad to have you here in the vlog. Yeah. Yeah. And Rafa, of course. And now what? He. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic is absolute madness. It's insanity. There's like 10 people trying to direct people, like who should go before who. It's an absolute madness. cluster F word. Wow. After that crazy and long tuk-tuk ride through traffic, finally made it to our next stop, which is the Amber Fort. All right, that is beautiful. It's stunning. We're gonna go inside now. Let's do it. because I thought there was gonna be no photography allowed so I was gonna you know look like I was gonna take pictures but I saw people taking pictures so it wasn't restricted until the very last part which was an entrance fee of 500 rupees but we'd been we'd seen enough and we were pretty satisfied with what we saw so we passed on that part it's really amazing it's really beautiful yeah as you could see it's really awesome it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site took a hundred years to build so really cool another fact about the Howell Mahal in the Pink City that I didn't mention before. Uh, so the Pink City was actually painted pink uh, back in the late 1800s to honor uh, Prince Edward of Wales who was going to visit uh, Jaipur. So that's another little fact about that. And it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Just this year, 2019, July 6th. So it was made at uh, UNESCO was, World Heritage Site, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2019? July okay. 6th. Cool. Now we're gonna head to uh, another cool place. What's it called? Panamina Kun, uh, Staircases. Yeah, so you'll see that in a second. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Great time of day to be here too. So we're here in our final stop for the day here in Jaipur and it is the Jal Mahal. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Some interesting facts about the Jal Mahal. So it's the only water temple in India that was not built on an island. 
It's actually five stories tall, and the first four stories were, are underwater, so it's built from the bottom of the lake floor. That's pretty cool. And it was built between 1750 and 1765 as a picnic spot for the royal family here in Jaipur. Pretty awesome. All right, it's been a pretty good day of sightseeing here in Jaipur. We're going to call it a day and head back to the hostel now. Fast forward to the next day and we're gonna catch sunset here at the Nahargar Fort, is that correct? Yeah. With some friends from our hostel. It's been an awesome stay here in Jaipur. I've loved being in the pink city and exploring it. Lots of history and culture. One of the highlights here in this trip. And so that'll do it for this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.